I'm here with Sarah. Clara. Cla Sarah and Clara. How do you two know each other? Uh, well, we knew each other in high school. Where are you from? I'm from the suburb of Paris. Okay. Me too. Ten minutes from Paris. Okay, so you're really, your par you're Parisian, most of your lives you've lived in Paris. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay, okay. fantastic. So this is really good. We've got first hand experience of Parisians. What lasting legacy do you want the Paris 2024 Olympics to have for the city and its people? A great memory first. A relationship with sports, with some sports. Lots of people only watch football but I think there are also great sports like now like, yeah. ice cream the sport oh fencing uh, okay fencing. <laughs> oh also, god bro. yeah and another sports like horsing I don't see like mo most of people don't okay. watch it so okay. how do you think hosting the Olympics will influence generations to come in France for people to see Paris hosting the Olympics may will make them safe maybe to go to visit Paris but also they will see that there is a lot of culture food sports monuments activities so I think that they be interested to visit Paris. For Parisians and French people, what the last legacy will be? A legacy with hosting people. Okay. We all we do our we do actually uh, host people, but we sometimes are not very happy with it. <laughs> this time we will better. Yeah. I hope so too because I've been to Paris three times and it's been nice, but sometimes French people, Parisians are like. Ah! Yeah. I think the same thing. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Wave. Patrice. Patrice. Nice to meet you. And you are from. Uh, Strasbourg. Strasbourg. What lasting legacy do you hope the 2024 Paris Olympics will have for Paris, its residents and the nation overall? A lot of people with, uh, will discover Paris and France and I hope the, it will be a good discovery for them. I am here with... Zeba. Zeba, nice to meet you Zeba. What's your connection to France? I am French, I was French. born there. In which part of France did you live in or do you live in? I used to live in Paris. What lasting legacy do you hope 2024 Olympics will have for France and its people? Oh, as I said, it's in terms of the infrastructure. It is enough of a beautiful sporting event that it inspires younger people to take up more sports and see that there's a career in there as well. Maybe we will take better care of our river. How do you think hosting the Olympics will influence French generations to come? I know that it's been a huge money pit and like Every other country, you know, France is really struggling. Everybody is in a recession. Everybody is struggling to, to just live normally. So to see that amount of such vast amounts of money spent on a month or a month and a half, if you include the Paralympics, is probably disconcerting for a lot of people. But it will put us on the map, hopefully only for positives this time. And maybe it will drive tourism. Maybe it will inspire people to take up sports. Maybe it will remind us that we are all one nation, especially yeah. under that flag. Yeah. And we need a little bit of good from time to time and they can they can inspire us to that fantastic thank you so much you've been amazing i'm here with pierre pierre great to meet you pierre tell me about your background yeah i'm half irish half french grew up between the two countries essentially most of my childhood teenage years were spent in france which is age 9 to 18. what lasting legacy do you hope the paris 2024 olympics will leave for the city and its residents and france overall i don't know because it's not already for the residents is it it's not really for paris it's for france as a nation it's for pr it's for sport it's for entertainment but i know french people and I I know they're just gonna be off I guess of the whole thing. Look I hope we can look back at it and say you know we put on a great show. It was one of the better Olympics. It was memorable but as far as the residents it's not like they're getting a piece of the pie like I said 10 billion dollars spent. Not like that's going to uh, towards social services or people who actually live in the city you know us anyway. So maybe that's something you'd like to see done. Some work towards supporting people within Paris from the Olympics somehow. Not just Paris just the whole country. I mean like I said we just sank a lot of money that we desperately need in our public services down the drain uh, that we spent on a big PR event. So I would hope that the new government invests future tax money and back into the people. What lasting legacy do you hope the 2024 Paris Olympics will leave for its people in the city and so on? Definitely love and cohesion and to, to be together and celebrate everyone for whatever body they have, whatever faith, whatever ethnicity and like really come together because I think there's still a lot of racism in front. And I do think that the games can really bring people together and at least try and attempt to rectify a lot of the shit that the French politicians have propagated, especially with Le Pen. Le Pen, I'll say that. So hopefully that will bring together a bit more international spirit and a bit more community. First of all, Elle les Bleus, support France, okay. you know, always. Secondly, I think representation is a big thing because there are many different kinds of people from all over the world and I think obviously the young people are doing the Olympics and I think it's showing the, the younger part of France who are fighting for that and I think even with the election that happened recently, it was the reason the left won was because of the younger generation and I think this is a really important time. First of all, a left-wing government with a young team of many different sports with many different kinds of people and I think that's really important and the last thing the French team probably the best dress always and I think that's just one to remember fantastic thank you so much